Alright, what's up guys? What is going on? So today's workout was just a squat workout. Um, I actually just switched from doing low bar squats, which I've been doing for the past... Oh, I think I've been doing those for the past like two years, so it's been a long time since I've been doing um, low bar squats. So today, I wanted to switch it up, you know, add some variety to my workouts because I was doing bands and I wanted to switch it up even more and do some high bar squats. I have not done high bar squats in a very long time. Um, I switched to low bar a while back because I wanted to lift more weight and I could lift more weight doing um, low bar. So I decided today, do some high bar, change it up, use some bands because I want to start adding variety to my workouts. Uh, I like really like using bands. I'm a fan of those bands because bands make her dance. I don't know if you know that song. But I just like using bands because it's going to add more explosiveness to my lifts. Um, I really like using bands with squats and deadlifts. Um, can't really use them in bench with like this gym, but doing them in the squats is going to add more, kind of more power, kind of more push out of the hole because that's my sticking point. It's kind of um, definitely at the hole of the movement, so this is just working more on my um, power, quads, and my glutes. Uh, here's just a different angle. I actually put the tripod on the power rack, which is my first time doing this. Um, it's kind of sketched out about because I did not want this thing falling, so I actually put my sweatshirt um, under where the camera was just in case it was going to fall. It was going to land on my sweatshirt, even though it probably would have broke either way because it's kind of high up, and it definitely would not survive that fall. But I just like putting my sweatshirt there just in case it makes me feel better. But as you can see, this is my that's my low bar positioning, and that is this is my high bar positioning on the bar. Um, so my low bar is just right under my traps, kind of like in the middle of my traps, and my high bar is obviously on um, top of my shoulders, um, but more closer to my neck, as you could say. Um, this is going to put more emphasis on the quads. It's going to help me stay in a more upright positioning compared to low bar, where you kind of fold over more, use more of your glutes and your hamstrings. Um, kind of like more for the deadlift, but then after the, I think I did five sets of like six, seven reps with 225, and then worked with 135 pounds with the band squats, kept my feet closer together, and focused more on my quads, and I felt a lot more in my VMO muscle, that teardrop, or the vastus medialis of the quadricep, um, so I just wanted to build that up, kind of the stabilizer of the knee. But then after squats, uh, I did some banded deficit deadlifts, kind of a mouthful there. Um, but here is just a two inch deficit. I'm pretty sure that's 35 pound weight, uh, 135 pounds on the bar. And I'm pretty sure at the top, it's 50 pounds of resistance with these bands each. Um, so still not really sure because I never kind of tested it. I kind of like to bring a fish scale, uh, which you use like weigh fish and kind of hook it around the weight and just see what it is at the top. So I just kind of know for my own sake because I want to know um, but here's 185 pounds I'm not gonna lie this movement did feel kind of weird um, felt awkward at first just because I'd never done it before because because I'm trying to add more variety in my workouts I've been doing a lot of banded deficit I mean banded regular banded deadlifts I don't know why I keep messing that up um, so here with the deficit it definitely made it feel a little weird if you've never done them before um, it's honestly a great movement, just at first it's going to feel a little awkward. Um, so here, just 185 pounds, did this for one set, and then afterwards did 225 pounds for, I think, three sets of uh, like five reps. Here, just working on speed, um, kind of power and explosiveness, um, just to get a little bit better at the deadlift. Um, kind of work through more of my sticking points, which is, I would say, is at the bottom of my knee. Well, for a lot of people, it's kind of like at your knee. Um, so here, it's just helping me push through that and help me to continue pulling as the weight gets heavier so in my head I just continue pulling no matter how heavy the weight is so it's kind of more of a mental and physical thing um, but that's kind of it for the workout day just ended with some lunges afterwards um, so I just want to thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe make sure to like the video do it now and always, always strive to be different. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.
so easy with it. Tell you what, those banded squats, banded deadlifts, deficit banded deadlifts really knocked me out. Damn. I'm gonna take a nap. I think it's just because it's raining outside. The thing's closed, but it's all rainy and crappy out, so maybe that's why I'm feeling a little tired. So, I'm gonna take a nap on this floor for a little while. And I just realized I forgot to take a picture for the thumbnail. And my mic's on. Sick. Didn't forget that though. <laughs>